So, you have probably uploaded a video to uh, YouTube, and uh, you come back after a day or two, and it only has a few views, no likes, no dislikes, and barely any comments at all. And you look at your YouTube channel, and it only has very few subscribers. Well, this guy will teach you how to get more views, subscribers, likes, comments, and favorites on your videos. If your videos get more views and overall interactions, more people will end up clicking on that subscribe button. Now, first of all, optimizing video titles. And now, video titles are probably the most important part of your video, but also the easiest to get right. Video titles are what get users browsing around on YouTube interested in watching your video. The title informs them what your video's content is roughly and what they can expect. For example, a video that is going through the steps to cook a steak. Steak cooking is a bad title. You'd be lucky to get five views on that, but most likely three of those are yours. However, the next title is setting your video up to get potentially unlimited views. How to cook the perfect steak in 20 minutes. That's a good title. The reason why the second title is better than the first is pretty easy to understand. Now, the first title is too short, only two words. It doesn't let potential viewers what the video is actually about. Is it a how-to video or just someone cooking a steak? And there just isn't enough information. It is important to actually let viewers know exactly what your video is going to be before they even watch it. Just for the title. The reason why adding an extra info into your title gets you more YouTube views is down to the related videos section that shows up on all videos on YouTube the YouTube search engine, and also Google's own search engine. Optimizing your title properly means that your video will be placed within the related videos section of other videos on YouTube. Your video will also end up having better ranking positions within the YouTube search results and Google search results. Therefore, when someone searches, for example, how to cook steak into Google or YouTube, your video will show up higher than it would have with the first title. This is because of the way the algorithm that YouTube and Google works. But I'm not going to get into that right now. It is important that you add one to three keywords in your title. Make the title look professional by using caps at the start of the, of the word when necessary. Don't make titles too long that it is starting to turn into the actual video description. Keep it between 3 to 15 words. A lot of people try and add in words or special characters into their titles that they think will get their video more views. This simply isn't a sustainable option, as it can result in negative feedback on your videos due to people not finding what they wanted or YouTube removing your video. Some examples might be using adult keywords in the title suggesting the video contains sexual content. Saying the video is official or exclusive, when in reality it isn't. Or adding an HD to the end of the title when it's really not. Now, have a long description. Descriptions are highly important to get right as well because they provide the user with even more information about what your video content is. Without a properly optimized description, your video might just lose out on a whole bunch of views. Your video description is only shown to users when they actually watch the video and when they see the video come up in search results or in their feed on the homepage. It is therefore important to have the first few lines of the description of your video to be concise, informative, and accurate. If you have a description that isn't accurate, then users will dislike your video, give valued comments, and your results and your video receiving less views in the long run.
The description of your video is also used by YouTube to determine where to place your videos in the search results. So having description with more keywords and a longer one will help achieve better rankings and therefore increase your YouTube views. Video descriptions are useful for inserting links to various social networking sites you may be signed up upon. Twitter and Facebook are great, as people can click the links and follow you for updates if they don't have a YouTube account. People might also see an update from you on Twitter or Facebook and not on YouTube. So it is a good idea to use these links as they can bring in a nice flow of views. It is called a description for a reason. It is meant to describe the video. Now proper tags and keywords. Many people overlook tags when it comes to uploading their videos, which could be one reason why so many people find it difficult to get more views on their YouTube video. Some people try adding in either too little tags or way too many and too many that are unrelated and are just added in to try and get more views. Adding in tags that are unrelated to your video will not help you get more views because the tags won't match up with your video title or description or subject. Ensure you add as many acceptable tags that are accurate and related in some way to your video. You can look at the tags that YouTube recommends when you are typing them in during the upload process. Now, don't use only single keywords. Make sure you mix up single words and phrases. For example, how to cook steak, how to cooking steak, steak, cook steak. Use a good thumbnail. Now use a good thumbnail. Thumbnails can also make a big difference in the amount of views your videos get on YouTube. Many people don't even bother to change their thumbnail when uploading a video, which is not recommended at all because you could end up with an awful thumbnail. When uploading a video to YouTube, you can choose between a variety of different snapshots taken from random points within your video. Sometimes one of these thumbnails are great to use and they show what your video is about and is related to the content. However, sometimes you can only choose from a bunch of useless thumbnails. When this is the case, it might be a good idea to upload a custom thumbnail. If you're planning on uploading a custom thumbnail, be sure to stick to the rules outlined previously. Don't make the thumbnail inaccurate or totally unrelated. People sometimes make the thumbnail a picture of hot girl, which will end up in your video being disliked, getting lots of bad comments, and result in your video getting placed further down in your search results. The thumbnail image of your video is what a lot of people look at when searching for videos, so make sure when you are choosing a picture to use that is highly related to your video content as much as possible and will get the user interested in watching the video. For example, if I made a video that was of a car crash, you would want the thumbnail to be of the actual crash and not of the car just driving along normally. As you can see, this is a horrible thumbnail. The th this thumbnail is just showing the road and some objects, and you can't see whether the video actually has someone crashing into a car or not. If the uploader of this video changed the thumbnail to the actual crash, the views on this video would be higher. Now, the quality of your videos. This isn't the most important issue. However, if you can achieve better video quality, then it would be definitely help you receive more views on your videos. Think about it. If a video has the worst quality available, like 240p, hardly anyone is willing to sit through and watch the whole video. However, if the video has the ability to be watched in HD, more people are going to watch it, and video retention stats will be improved greatly. Try and make a plan or script for each video you make, as videos that are done on the spot tend to be messy and end up being too long. The only time on the spot kind of video making is effective is when you make vlogs. Now make sure that the quality of what's actually in the video is good as well. Try and make your videos informative and concise. People don't like having to watch something for 10 minutes or they could have got to the same information from another video in one minute. 
Try and reduce camera shaking over loud audio, and basic things will help satisfy viewers and make it more likely they will watch more of your videos and share them around on social networking sites, thus increasing your video views. Now get involved in the community. People who start out on YouTube without ever making contact with another YouTuber are bound to fail and receive little views. If you take a look at any of the well-known YouTubers that have millions of subscribers and views, you will see that they've done collaborations with many different YouTubers, and they all promote each other's channels now and again. This is because it is highly effective at getting more views, likes, favorites, comments, and subscribers. YouTube channels have the option to add featured channels as well, which is where you can place a link to other YouTubers channels. This can be very powerful if you link to other channels and get them to link back to you because the subscribers and viewers from other people's channels will come and find your channel. These people can end up subscribing to your channel and sharing your channel around with their friends and family, increasing your views and subscribers even more. This is known as the multiplier effect, where one view can lead to another view and another and so on. It can be as simple as just going around other videos and commenting on them in order to get other YouTubers to notice you and find your channel. And finally, conclusion. Now, there is one big issue with this method to get more views. Time and effort. Although these methods are effective, they require you to put in time and effort that many people don't have. The results can take months or even years to achieve. Don't expect to get views overnight. By following these tips, you should start getting more views on your videos.